Most people in America are familiar with people's rights. When we're tar talking about people's rights, there are ancillary rights that are related to personhood, paperwork, and property, and a lot of times we cover property and our possessions. But at the same time, we might have a fourth P of parentage. And parentage is our responsibility under the law to raise a fully moral, free-thinking individual who will be a productive member of society. A lot of people aren't going to like my definition of that because a lot of people want to aid nothing and they want to avoid their accountability for how their children have turned out. And that's just not right. The reason, motherfuckers, that it's not right is because we have had 40 to 60 years, and some reporter who's better than me can tell you exactly the price time, precise, precise time when the study of children and how to read, really read them, and really probably since Bible times, uh, we've been talking about this, of so spare the rod and spoil the child, but reality, parents are responsible and legally liable for their children's behavior up until the point of the age of majority, which is a little bit varying in different states between the ages of probably 18 to 23, I'm, I'm guessing, and that law permitting. But what I'm saying is if your child mouths off and he gets pummeled for mouthing off to an elderly person, who's to blame? Was it the kid mouthing off and being improper, improper and immoral to an elderly person, or is it the older gentleman's intolerance of the constant pursuit, harassment, and arraignment by your child?